So I joined the military at 19 years old. I um, decided to go into the Navy. God knows why, because I don't know how to swim. <laughs> but um, I thought, you know, traveling around the world would be great. I worked at the 137th Space Morning Squadron for about 11, 12 years, and I swore I would never commute to Buckley because it was just far, and spending that kind of time away from my family was just something I didn't want to do. But then uh, I used my be educational benefits and went to school and got my degree. And uh, the guard was very, very helpful. Uh, my boss at the time was very lenient with me um, going to school and, and working here. So I was able to get my master's degree and found that I outgrew my position. And uh, I applied for a job at the 140th. Um, to ARPC um, specifically. But before I went there, I got the opportunity to finally go and serve my country boots on the ground. So I went to Iraq with the 140th um, back in 2011. So that was like one of the best experiences I ever had. I always wanted to go and I, I never did. And so when I was there, I treasure that time um, deeply. And I learned a lot, and uh, I grew a lot out there. Uh, February of 2019, I was diagnosed with uh, stage three colon cancer. And uh, going back a few months, I thought I had the flu three different times consecutively. And finally, I realized, who has the flu for three months? So I was on chemotherapy for about four months. And I was hopeful because the oncologist said that it was um, uh, treatable and beatable. And two months later, uh, after I thought I was in remission, um, two months after I had gotten off of chemotherapy, it came back and it had spread everywhere. So at that point, um, I went back into surgery and I was um, diagnosed at stage four at that time. They, they work harder at um, quality of life and not quantity. So that's pretty much what I'm told. So anything that causes my body to stress, they work at making me feel better so I don't have to suffer through this disease until the end. Uh, so I was 49 years old at the time and the age that um, most people go and get screened and tested is 50. So I would not have even known um, it, the cancer would have even grown more if I had waited. And the doctor wasn't available, so I went to see the nurse practitioner and she um, said, you know, while well, you are getting up there in age and it's common that you would feel your digestive system not working as good as it used to. So um, just take some Metamucil and call it good. <laughs> so I was um, relieved that that's all that it could have been. And um, that was not the case. It was not because of my age and it was not anything like that. I had not gotten screened because I wasn't 50. The insurance companies only um, pay for you to get screened um, when you're 50, not until you're 50. And that has changed, I believe, over the years um, recently. So I think the new age is 45. And if you have uh, anyone in your family, your immediate family that has cancer, then they go back uh, 15 years so to get screened. So right now, my children should start getting screened at the age of 35, get checked, and do all the screenings, do everything possible. And when you do hit your 40s and your 50s, your everything changes unless you continue to be healthy and work out and have physical activity in your life, I mean, even if it's just walking. You need to be active and you need to start eating more healthy foods and less processed foods. Make your own food, have a garden, um, 
start eating things that are organic, which is really hard to do because you'd go to the store to buy soil and even the soil has chemicals in it and some things you can't get away from, um, environmental hazards, you know, you, um, you can't help but where you live, you know. What keeps your spirits up? I, well, I appreciate that, first of all. <laughs> uh, my faith. Um, because having stage four cancer is not uh, something that you um, want to accept. Um, and just knowing that I, I have, you know, my family and I have my grandsons that are only one and three, I would like to see grow up. And um, m my husband is always talking about, hey, uh, remember we wanted to go retire in New Mexico and remember we wanted to travel the world and, and um, sell pottery and, <laughs> and go to art shows and, and, and I, I'm a realist so I'm thinking in my head, I'm not gonna get to do that. Um, but I'm gonna speak as if I will be able to. Um, but I still make the arrangements um, knowing that my time is limited and I spend each day making it worthwhile. I don't like to stay in bed and just watch the day go by and something good has to happen every single day. I, I try to reach out to my friends and have memories built 